My great-great-great-grandfather purchased the farm in 1796. Joe Mitchell works a Delaware farm that his family acquired when George Washington was president. Growing up on the farm, I always wanted to, to farm. I always said I learned more following my father and grandfather around the farm than I ever did when I was in school. And Joe's son Jim is following in those same footsteps, plotting his future as part of a dairy operation that began with milk and butter. In 1928, I'm not sure why, they stopped making butter and started selling fluid milk. And then my father and I continued that until 1961 when, for various reasons, we gave up the dairy at that point. With the cows gone, they produced pumpkins, row crops, and poultry. But the economic realities of modern farming demanded some new directions. So in the mid-90s, the cows came back. I gave Janet a calf one Christmas as a gift, and that kind of started our dairy herd. But this time, the Mitchells decided on a slightly sweeter and creamier future. We saw a show on PBS, actually, the ice cream show. And they talked about a course up at Penn State. And so my husband said, you know, why don't I go? Needing help in their new venture, they asked Jim's dad to join them in making the frozen treats. I said, I'm too old to start something new. I'll milk the cows for you. So that's what I do. Today, the Mitchells turn out dozens of flavors and deliver their homemade ice cream to area stores and restaurants. It's also a favorite at their dairy shop, serving thousands of farm visitors each year. Visitors who have a chance to encounter agriculture in a rapidly expanding urban environment. Being able to produce something and sell it ourselves directly to the public so people can see where their food comes from. Kids can learn about uh, agriculture. We're in the middle of suburban northern Newcastle County, and yet there's a live, active, working farm that has transitioned from maybe being a straight type of dairy farm to adding the uh, Woodside Creamery. But ice cream isn't the only thing produced here. Shiny panels capture energy from the sun, and the creamery is one of Delaware's largest solar-powered farms. And extensive composting adds another layer of sustainability, enhancing the soil. It's nice to be able to produce our own power on the farm, just like we produce uh, a lot of our own products, our own milk and, and some of our food and that sort of thing. It, it helps us be... Um, a little more independent, and it helps the country be a little more independent too, which I like. More than 200 years after plows first turned this Delaware soil, the Mitchells see a continuity of family and the land. I know it'll keep on during my lifetime, and I hope something will come along and it'll continue to. It's nice to have the heritage. You know, a lot of folks just don't have that heritage. People ask how long we've been here, and so many people are surprised when I say the family's been here for over 200 years and I'm part of the seventh generation on the farm. It just amazes them. 